Good morning. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a foundation review. This is something I don't think I've ever done on my channel before. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the NARS Radiant Long Wearing Foundation. This is a 16 hour wear foundation and I love the NARS Sheer Glow. The NARS um, Long Wearing Foundation that came out after the Sheer Glow, I wasn't really a fan of. It honestly creased really bad around my mouth and settled into my fine lines. It gave great coverage. I loved the coverage aspect of it, but for someone who's super expressive, I couldn't wear it any longer than like a night out or else it would settle into my fine lines and I would constantly be self-conscious about buffing them out. It is currently 11.42. I have a family luncheon to go to and then we're going to do some shopping. Who knows where the night's going to take us. So I am going to give you guys updates throughout the whole entire day as to how the foundation has lasted and if I have to touch up, if I get oily, anything like that. So I just woke up and my face has not been cleansed or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and take a makeup wipe to my face, get all of the dirt off, and then I'm going to tone and moisturize. Now that I have cleansed and toned my face, I'm going to go in with my moisturizer. And today the moisturizer I am going to be using is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. This is a transforming moisturizer super cream. And again, since my face has been super dry, this has worked perfectly underneath my foundation. Now I'm going to apply this foundation like I normally apply my foundation with a dry beauty sponge. I always use dry beauty sponges because it gives me more of a full coverage appearance. When I use a damp beauty sponge, it gives me more of a sheer glow and that is not what I'm going for. I am a full coverage human. First thing I notice is the package. It is a glass bottle, comes with one fluid ounce, and I am in the shade Syracuse. I've always been in the shade Syracuse and all of the foundations from their line that I've used. And it says natural radiant long wearing foundation, shake well. So we're going to shake it. Okay, I have three pumps. Doot, doot. First thing that I notice is that this is, this has a really nice coverage. That's the first layer. I mean, look at how beautiful that looks. Honestly, that looks really pretty and skin-like. Going to do another pump on the side. Okay, so this is how my face looks with one layer on. Gave really nice coverage just on the first layer. It doesn't feel overly liquidy. It's more of like a natural finish, but I don't feel like my face is wet which is really, really nice. I still have this dark spot around my mouth peeking through, this dark spot on my head peeking through, but my cheek area, it covered pretty nicely. So I'm just gonna go in with one more pump, just lightly over any spots that are showing through. And that just covered it effortlessly. So first application, I'm pretty impressed. It covered really nicely, it has a really nice feel. And it's very lightweight. Like, I don't feel like I have foundation on my face at all. As far as covering my dark spots, it did a really good job. But still keeping my skin looking fresh and natural, which is exactly what I want. Now, since I am using the NARS foundation, I am going to go in with a NARS concealer just to see how they work together. And I'm going to be using the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Biscuit. Now, I've never used the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I used it like a while ago, but I returned it because I didn't really like it. So I am going to give you guys the full effect today. And as you guys know, I'm very harsh on concealers because I need a lot of concealer underneath my eyes. So we will see how this works. I'm going to take the pointy end and just blend that out. Honestly, that covered really nicely without having to color correct 
underneath my eye. It's pretty nice. Is this a trick? Okay, so that is the foundation and concealer on. First initial thoughts is while I was putting my concealer on, um, it did crease in my forehead wrinkles. It's pretty standard with all foundations. It's pretty rare that a foundation doesn't settle into my fine lines, especially when I'm lifting my eyebrows, applying my under eye concealer. So that doesn't really bother me too much. Now, if it creases when I set it, that's when it's gonna be a real issue. And just because I'm a freak, I'm going to put a little more concealer on, but I was really impressed with the coverage of this concealer just right off the bat. And I'm going to come back with the finished look. Okay, so here is the final makeup look. All I have to do is set my face. It has settled the tiniest bit into my forehead wrinkles, but once I set it with setting spray, everything should settle and be all good. And I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus. I am noticing it's starting to break up around these fine lines. I'm just going to go ahead and just buff that out at the moment, but it was starting to settle and I am about that life. Now I'm going to set everything in place using my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. And I'm going to drink my coffee, run and go get dressed, and then I'm going to head off to my family's and I will update you in a couple hours. Okay guys, so it is about 1.30. I have been wearing this foundation for about an hour now. And it is starting to break up around my mouth. Which is not what I want, but the rest of my face seems okay. Natural, nothing too crazy, but it is starting to break up around my mouth. So I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to try not to touch it, no guarantees, but I'm going to see how it lasts through dinner, through eating, and through some shopping later. So I will update you guys in a couple hours. Hey guys, it is currently 9.47 and I just got home from all of my crazy activities today. And I wanted to give you guys a final update on this foundation. Now, this is my face up close and personal. As you can see, I have been eating and drinking. It has worn off around my mouth. Thankfully, it has worn off be around my mouth because it was literally settling into my fine lines so, so bad. As you can see, my face is super oily in my T-zone. Around my chin area was super, super oily before I ended up eating off all of the makeup around my face. So my overall impression of the foundation is, to be completely honest, it wasn't very long wearing. And for somebody who loves a full coverage matte foundation, this would definitely not be something that I would spend my money on. I'm honestly thinking about returning this foundation because it's definitely not something that I would wear on a daily basis or on a special occasion. I don't want anything that emphasizes my texture and pores and fine lines. And I feel like this foundation did everything that I don't want it to do. It definitely emphasized my smile lines. It emphasized my under eye wrinkles. It even creased right in between my forehead and my nose which foundations usually don't crease in there for me. So that was kind of odd, but the oiliness for me was really odd because I can get oily, but I don't usually get this oily. Like as you can see, my nose is like an oil slick. So honestly, I was really disappointed in this foundation, which was honestly a bummer because I was super excited to try this. I thought this was going to be like my new everyday foundation, but it's a fail for me. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found this video informational. And if you guys want me to do more foundation reviews like this and wear tests, then let me know down in the comment section. I would love to hear from you guys. If you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you never miss an upload. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. Let me know if you will be picking up this foundation or if you've tried it and I would love to know your thoughts. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.